Continuing the story in the last episode of Tomodachi Game, where Yuichi and Tenchi get an over to play the game again for the purpose of saving Sibe. After the accident of finger cutting rock paper kisser, Yuichi seems helpless, and whatever happened, Yuichi tells Tenchi to save Sibe. And this is where the fourth game begins, named Friends in Trial Season. Sibe enters the room wearing clothes like Madman about to lose control. Although this game is named Ford, but this was the game they were not going to do. Because Sibe has filled the rules, the game decided to be played because of him who filled the rules. If they abandon Sibe, Tenji and Kokorogi don't have to play this game, but as a result, Sibe will disappear and they still can move on to game 5. Josnobu tried to provoke Sibe by saying, there's no mistake that the one who killed the father was Sibe. But Sibe is showing Daniel face as if it wasn't true. And Nobu said the evidence of fingerprint on the weapon, blood on his clothes matching with his father's, but there's one that deserved where he had a showy fight with his father on the day of the accident, telling his father he will kill him. There's a method to prove Sibe innocent. They just have to confess the jury members that have choose by the staff of Tomodachi game and collect all their innocent vote then the game clear. But it's not as easy as it sounds. For information, Innocent vote means it's all about money. The staff give the money to the jury member. They can try to confess the jury however they want, telling them Sibe is innocent, yet Tenji and Kokorogi got nothing to lose. Manuel, the amount they gathered in total is 1 and 96 million yen. And this is an incomplete number because the jury member are their classmates with total 28 of them. So the money they got per person is 70,000 yen. It's the same amount as the failed trip fee. Basically, it's the money that was given to them by the school as a refund to the stolen school trip fee. So Tenji and Makoto mission is to convince their classmates to hand over the money to them. They have one week to gather the innocent food from their classmates and not allowed to prepare the money by themselves, and that's the rule of the game. And of course, Tenji decided to play the game and going to take Sibe back home with them since that's what he promised with Yuichi. Manabu suddenly tell the core essence of this game is that Sibi Makoto worth enough to give your all to save. And Abu mentioned Sawaragi that she is missing after the spirit in game 2. Tenji told she ran away because she didn't want her connection with Tomodachi game to be found. But Nobu know the reason why Sawaragi missing. Around 4 days ago, after Sibe stopped going to school from bullying, she was worried about Sibe. So Sawaragi went to his house after school and cheered up Sibe who was spiritually on the edge from bullying and his father. With surprise and frightened face on Sibe's face, Nobu confessed something unexpected and left everyone dumbfounded about the fact that Sibe assaulted Sawaragi. Well, alright, the story getting dark and interesting, let's just move on to the next chapter. And of course, all of them were surprised knowing the fact that Sibe assaults Sawaragi. So now we asked them again if they're still willing to continue the game to save Sibe, knowing the multiple crime he had committed. But Kokorogi is still in disbelief like, hey, this is not true, right? But Sibe's expression show that what Nobu say is true. Manuel Tenji still think that Sawaragi is strong so she should have been easily rebel Sibe. So result wise is an attempted crime. So, Stop the Modachi game have prepared and witness, and it's Miyabi Saori, see the CB house former housekeeper, and the game really proceeding like an actual trial. Right before Saori tell about what happened that day, CB trying to intimidate her with his eyes and keep making a noise voice, and Maria take him out of the court. She said that CB seemed to be in extremely bad mood, it must have been the time he was getting bullied. Sawaragi come to visit to the CB house. And she seemed to be in a hurry and a little bit angry. At first, he seemed to be displeased when she reported him about the visitor. But as soon as he knew it was Sawaragi, he invited her into his room. Last word he told Sawaragi was, don't ever pick. But then he insisted by saying she didn't see what happening inside the room. However, she did see even though she was told not to pick. Because housekeeper access to pick. The two in the room were talking quietly, based on the point of view Saori, it feels Sawaragi gently talking to him, but soon after the two start fighting with loud voice, like, 
this is not my problem that can be said with an apology. Then, Sawaragi asks him what shall he do to make him forgive her. And he wants to do something dirty with her. So Makoto can fly in the door was so completely closed. But of them things he bigger punch and flew. But no. There's more information, but Sawari only listen their voice. Says that I'm happy that you like me. I'm grateful that you try to believe in me. But you know, although you might think you know about me, you don't understand anything. I don't know who said this, but I think it's Sawaragi and say, fine, try if you can, but you will probably regret it. After that, for a long time, about 10 to 20 minutes, suddenly the room was open roughly. Sawaragi flew out of the room, clothes disordered, and she seemed to be crying. But then she still think there's something out. So he asked Miyabe Sawari whether she telling the truth or no. And Sawari seemed to be pissed like, are you implying that you can trust me? Because Tenji told since Jesse's work with Shibe family, why would she give a negative information about him? And what was the reason she decided to come and testify at a suspicious place like this, but not to police? And her reason is simple and understandable. It's because she had the people of the Shibe family, even though she worked there, she had no choice because she had to return the debt of her father from the Shibe household. She came to fan her anger and don't mind if they're not believing in their story. She warned them about one thing, is to not trust in Sibe. After his parents divorced during second year middle school, his real nature came to surface. Sibe always stick to her mom or called Bikel to have a mother complex. But at the time of divorce, Sibe decided to go with his father. If he loved his mother so much, why did he go with his father? Isn't it obvious? It's because the money. His father convinced him to get a lot of some money and getting fees so nicely. And remember, even if he looks poor and kind on one surface, in the end, Sibe Makoto is a man who chooses money over love. For one week, the trial will process like this, until then they have to confess the jury member and gather all 28 innocent votes. Then you want to hear what Sibe has to say, knowing it's not fair until they listen to his part. But Nabu always say something to dots every word Tenji have said. And since Tenji trusts Sibe, then he have to believe in Sibe without asking for his story since they are friends. And just like that, the trial is over. As always, Kokorogi clueless and asks Tenji about what to do. Tenji distracted because there's too many information. He starts to think if that story was all truth, then it seems like Sibe has some dark past too. Since Yuichi is not there, he need to get himself together. Manuel, Yuichi is being hospitalized and surgery. And surprisingly, Sukino said, Katagiri Yuichi? Or no no. Would it be better if I call you Shiba Yuichi? And he woke up and seemed mad about it and told her not to mention that name. If I make conclusion in this chapter, I think Sibe decided to go with his father to get the money in order to help his mom. And what shocked me the most is that Sukino suddenly mentioned Shiba Yuichi. Does it mean Katagiri Yuichi is not his real name? And change his last name to Katagiri to hide from his dark past. And does everything Saori say is truth about Sibe Asal Sawaragi? What do you think guys? Comment below about your opinion. <laughs>